Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm Rohit. Today we'll talk about uh, the assignment rules, uh, uh, priority data lookup. So basically we'll talk about the assignment, calculations, those stuffs today. For that I have to, I can use the incident problem change but there are some example data is already there for incident problem change. So for that, that uh, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create a brand new table uh, which is going to extend the task table because the assignment rule or assignment um, user criteria is only validated which is extended to the task table so for that i'm going to create a table called assignment example and that table will be extended by task table and the task table have already assigned two assignment groups and um, priority all those fields so we'll fetch from there and use from there only okay so without wasting time let's get started and create a brand new example table for our uh, use case assignment rules example what i am going to do that i am going to create a table name called assignment example and this is the table name uh, and here i need to extend the task table basically uh, to show the demonstration so i'll just extend the task table and i'll not create any field because task table have already all this field available uh, to show you demo like number uh, assigned to assignment groups uh, priority impact urgency everything is there so i'll just click and save that so the so the table can be created so once the table is created you can see that already 72 fields are there because these 72 fields are actually present to the task table it is just extending all those fields from the task table so i have not created any field which is specifically uh for this table because these 72 fields are already picked up from the task table so i don't need any uh, table for uh, any fields right now okay so let's type that assignment here um, assignment example our table is ready and if i click that here um, most of the fields are already showing and if i click new it is already showing all those fields okay i'll quickly um, rearrange those fields and then i'll Come back. So I have pretty much modified this form layout and then you can see that in the right side all these things are uh, present. First of all uh, the state is in that right side impact urgency and after that priority and then assignment group assigned to and then uh, the configuration item location contact contact type these are the fields are actually present right now okay. So what we are going to do here right now in through the assignment rule suppose uh, in our case, um, we want to uh, give a conditions, right? So what is the condition if the configuration item is something, uh, suppose the configuration item is uh, a um, specifically one configuration item. So we want to like if the configuration item is a database, we want to set that um, the assignment group is the database okay so that is the one kind of assignment right so you you do you might need to write the business rule for that or something like that right if the condition is configuration item is the database i want to set assignment group and assign to this that could be a one your business rule or else if uh, my impact is high and urgency is high i want to change the priority to something else or maybe the location is um, some location in a region or some location i want to set the assignment group or assign to something different so for that we can simply without writing the business rule we can simply uh, go back to our um, assignment rules and from there we can do this um, calculation okay so let's see how it's um, derived for that in your left navigation you type the rules under these rules, uh, once you type the rules, uh, under the system policy, there is a rule module is there. And just uh, think about these two. These two are assignment lookup rules and assignment uh, priority lookup rules. These two used for assigning uh, the groups on calculating priority. Okay, first of all. We'll come to those other points later. 
but assignment lookup rules is used to assign some uh, based on condition and the priority lookup is used this table is used to calculate the priority based on some condition okay so let's uh, open one of these assignment data lookup how this looks like okay i'll open an existing one and what it is saying that if you see the sub category if the sub category is email it should be assigned to freddy uh, ladi so that is the condition in defined in the assignment data lookup but remember that assignment data lookup and priority data lookup doesn't have any specific table name it means that it will be applicable for all the table if you define any assignment data lookups okay but um what all we can do okay like we can do like based on the category although i don't have any category fill and the sub category fields but if i create the category and sub category fields here based on the category or sub category i can uh, assign these to a particular groups okay similarly in the priority lookup if my impact and urgency the priority lookup is defined here okay impact is high urgency is high it will be uh, the uh, the priority will be critical that is already defined here okay but it can it is right now it's not applicable on the as if, if if you see that my impact is high priority is high if i save that priority won't be changed as a critical because this priority data lookup is not yet implement for me okay or else uh, if you see uh, in this prior in this uh, assignment data lookup uh, there is a one record cal called category is inquiry help and then subcategory is email it, it should be assigned to the freddy lobby but it is not applicable for me first of all because i don't have category and subcategory even though if i select some location and then uh, it should be assigned but it is not it will be not be implement for me okay so let's first implement first of all for priority okay so priority data lookup already the priority is applicable so wherever this priority data lookup is get, going to use the same lookup is for the consistency the same lookup will be applicable for all over the task table okay to implement the priority data lookup for our table what we have to do first we have to go to the data lookup definition table and here you can see right now it is implemented for incident um and problem table we are going to as a this use for we are going to use for our uh, assignment example uh, table okay so select that data lookup rules from there here you need to select the table for which table you want to uh, change so our case is um source table is assignment example table and matching table is you can see the four matching table so you can only calculate on four table so our case is the dl priority lookups and then click the assignment example save that once you create the data lookup definition you need to uh, map that inside the matching field so what we are going to map there source field is the impact and matching field is the impact save another is the urgency source field is the urgency and matcher field is the urgency in sudden stay so now if i go back to this uh, data lookup definition what it is telling me that um, urgency and impact both are matches so if based on the impact and urgency what value i am going to set that i am going to set the priority the select that priority
and submit okay and now here is the thing uh, when it should be run on the insert or on update i want to run on insert and update so let's save that so now data lookup definition is uh, done on the priority table so now it will be collecting the data from the priority and will set it will be collect data from priority and set to that exactly table that uh, assignment example table so let's right now uh, save this and update and it should be update the priority so you can see that somehow it is it it did not impact or it did not update our priority right because the priority have already some value that's why it did not update for that you have to go back to this uh, priority data uh, data lookup definition and you have to change that always replace equal to true and now if you go back and update some value and then click save it should update so if you if you can see that the priority is right now changed to the critical okay so now if i change to the medium the priority will be changed okay so the pra if you see that always replace means that if there is a value then it will be true means that always replace but if if it is false means that if there is no value then only it will be updated okay. so i hope you guys understand that what is the purpose of the data lookup definition table so this is the triggering point this is from where the actual trigger should be happens okay so this is the triggering point and from which table the calculation should be happens that is the matcher table so next one of the matcher table we we'll are we are going to use that um, the assignment lookup rules we'll talk about that how the assignment data loop table or data lookup table is used okay so let's create a new record here you can see the category subcategory is there but our case we don't have category subcategory we could have create category subcategory for that example but i'm not going to create that if you want you can create the category subcategory and you can implement um, in your case uh, but i am i am going to use whatever existing field is that so i do have contact uh, configuration item and the location which is matching to basically in this table so our case i am going to select uh, a contact uh, sorry configuration item is call um if someone select the data pilot in uh, in the configuration item uh, in the configuration item i want to uh, set assignment group as a database group for example so that is my uh, criteria maybe for this case okay so let's save that uh, now if i go back and select that uh, the the configuration item equal to data pilot and see that if it is applicable or not so configuration item i select the data pilot and save that it is not assigned to the assignment group because in the data lookup table or data lookup definition table i have not defined for the um, assignment data lookup table so let's create one more record call a data lookup rules assignment groups this time we are dealing with the assignment groups the this table is the assignment data lookup table matcher table and this is our assignment example table and i want to implement on um, insert and update click the save now match our field we need to be match the field click new what is our source field source field is nothing but this is the configuration item and the target field also the configuration item so we'll select both the cases configuration item and submit and what is the setter field we will set the source field is the assignment group so we'll take the assignment group and uh, target field is our case is also assignment groups so we'll set that assignment groups 
even though uh, we need to uh, select the always replace and click submit so it means that whenever your assignment groups is this one data pilot it should be select the database now let's go and um, update that record and it should be select the assignment group let's update you can see the assignment group is added okay and similarly you can select also assign to I'll select the assign to is Rohit here and then in the database setter method I'll match one more field called assign to and here assign to and save and now this time if I update let's see I'm not sure that I'm part of the database team or not, but let's submit that. You can see the SI2 is also populated. But here is the thing. You can see that um, I have thousands of uh, data, right? So shall I create thousands of uh, configuration items? I have thousands or lakhs of configuration items. Shall I create lakhs of data or lakhs of configuration items entering the assignment data lookup? That should not be our case, right? Because um, I cannot select the class or I cannot dot up, right? I cannot select that the class is database or class is something and based on that I cannot select the assignment group. For that, we'll use the advanced method in our next session. So guys, this is for today. In the next session, we'll talk about the assignment rules and the approvals rules. Thank you very much. Have a